You know, occasionally something happens that will seriously affect your entire life, yet you might never know about it. Today most of us know about the HDL-LDL ratio, but in the past and for a long time, nobody knew. So what happened? In the not so distant past, crazy ideas and theories by amateurs were very common. A lot of people placed a high value on such ideas. I want to show you how ambition and incompetence could cause an obesity epidemic. Hard to believe, right? You see, pseudo-professions began to make an appearance about 40 years ago. One such group was determined to create a niche on the fringe of medicine. They called themselves nutritionists. They redesigned our diet. In those days, most of us were slim. We still maintained the traditional diet we'd inherited from our grandmothers. These people reverse engineered that diet and called it a modern health diet. They had managed to create a product. What they needed was credibility. Luck was with them. Our nutritionist uncovered something called cholesterol. This was a time when people were not looking for a diet. There was no compelling reason to start one. Very few healthy people had a weight problem. Yet very soon, most of us rushed to get a cholesterol test. Why? Because the media got involved. They whipped up a lot of fear about the potential consequences of not having a test. People were simply scared into it. Once diagnosed, the new diet was the only cure. Why was that a bad thing? The people who performed the test did not see the need to measure the HDL-LDL ratio. They just added the numbers together. This of course meant that just about everybody on the planet had very high cholesterol results. Of course somebody soon put a stop to that, right? Wrong. The practice went on for 30 years. It triggered a virtual epidemic of high cholesterol. Our nutritionists soon became media stars. They were celebrated for having discovered cholesterol and the diet that would fix it. How they must have rejoiced when they learned most people had high cholesterol. This bungle became a goldmine for many professions and industries. Nothing wrong with that, except that every cholesterol test was bogus. That meant people were incorrectly treated for high cholesterol. The tests were wrong and nobody took the trouble to expose that. It took more than 30 years to correct this momentous mistake. What is most disturbing about this? I think probably the fact that the blundered test started not long after the new diet was launched. It also coincided with the beginning of the obesity epidemic we see today. I don't believe in coincidences. Do you?